before installing TIM, ensure the required external packages are installed. The Linux packages and installation files should be available on the same machine where TIM will be installed. To open the command line window, click the terminal icon. Here we have placed TIM installer in the root directory. Prior to TIM installation, extract all the tar files on the Linux machine. The first step is to accept the end user license agreement, EULA. So, open the agreement file by typing this command and press enter. Press Shift plus G to reach at the end of the file. Set the value of CAULA to accept. After saving the changes, move ahead with installation. Then use this command to start the installation. To continue with the installation, press Enter. Press Enter to accept the default CAULA path. Next, you will be prompted to provide the target installation directory for Tim. For the purpose of this demo, we will choose the default. Type Y and press Enter. This will install TIM files in the opt directory. Next, you will be prompted to create a private HTTPD server instance for TIM. For this demo, we will press Enter to accept the default value. Further, you have to choose the HTTP and HTTPS listen ports for TIM. Here, we will accept the default values and continue. Next, you will be prompted to modify the firewall to open the TIM HTTPD server ports. For the purpose of this demo, we will press enter to accept the default value, yes. Next, you need to specify the internal port for TIM to use for communication with the enterprise manager. Let us press enter to accept the default value 81. Review the selected TIM install options. To confirm the execution of TIM installation, choose the default value yes. This initiates TIM installation. Observe, the TIM installation completes with warnings as the minimum system requirements were not met. For the purpose of this demo, we will ignore and proceed. Now we will start the TIM service using this command. Once the TIM service has successfully started, we will log in to the TIM setup page. Navigate to TIM Network Interfaces Configuration to configure the interface, which will receive the mirrored traffic from the span or tap. For the purpose of this demo, let's set it to ETH0. This completes the TIM installation and setup. 